Hey guys, it's Planet 3D Animator here. This is part two of the man splashing in water, or whatever you want to call it, tutorial. So, I just got done explaining how, um, I'm just going to drag this up a second and then I'm just going to right click, but, um, you can kind of see that that's your fluid right there, not is anything special. So, what you're probably wondering is, what the heck, that's, that's, that's dumb, he's not splashing. Alright, what I want you to do is drag, keep your guy in the middle, press the I key, and location. Now, advance maybe 50 frames, and move him forward, insert, location. Um, I key for insert. Now, go to frame 100, and go back a little bit, insert location, then you can kind of make it a little more different and go to your top view 150 and drag him over here insert location go to frame 250 drag him over here insert location so if we animate this just as an example you'll see your guy um, move forward and then he'll move back, and then he'll move over to the corner. Then he'll slowly go back over to the other corner. So, pretty simple, not difficult. Now, select your guy and go to Fluid, Obstacle. And I think you want to do Shell. I think. I think. Shell. I'm pretty sure it's shell. Um, we can try with volume and shell bow. So I'll just try shell first. So select your fluid and bake it again. Now you see your 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 progress up here. Frame 14 out of 250, 21, 27, 32. So down here you can see the progress. You can see that your man or guy or whatever woman just splashed the water up against that side and hit the wall and whatnot. And now he's moving backward. Just a little bit. And then he is going to go over here to the corner and then he's going to come back over here. So we'll just wait till that goes so I can show you guys what it'll look like. Now I think we might um, have to try the volume, I'm not sure. Now the reason um, that it's not fully colliding with your person is because it's at a low resolution. If it was at a high resolution, it would be colliding with him and look like he was actually touching the water. It, it's a low resolution, so it'll go fast for my tutorial and because I don't have all day to run it, but you kind of get the point. I'll just give it a minute or two to finish up. We're on frame 188, 192, 197, 201, 205, 210, 214, 218. We're getting closer. But it's pretty cool. It's not bad, I mean, just for that little bit of resolution. It'll hopefully look pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so we're finished. Alt-A to play your animation. Goes up, splashes it up just a little bit, moves backward, pushes the water out of its way, splashes up again, flies around, splashes it up again, Alright, simple. So now you can erase your fluid when, don't delete it yet, you erase your fluid when you are done with your simulation. Now I'm going to set mine smooth and I'll even try a subsurf. Maybe. No. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> That's kind of dumb. But let's just smooth it out see what it looks like. Not bad. Just splashing it. Now the reason the water only goes up to here and isn't splashing up real high is because I set the domain so that it only goes up to like his waist. Now if I would have set, now you can see his feet are going through the fluid, but it doesn't matter. Well actually they're not. Oh yeah they are, whatever. But you can see that 
that only goes up to here. Now if I make the domain bigger so it's like up here, then the water would splash up and be splashing all around. But just to um I, mean, I wanna see what that sub I never I don't think I've ever really subsurfed water. Doesn't look too bad. Jesus. A lot of vertices, huh? And it's not, you know, that bad, so... It's, it's just a little basic thing, it's nothing advanced, but... I'm not sh I'm still not sure how to make him so that a, s a single body part can move. If anybody knows how to do that, let me know. Um, most likely something with an IPO curve, but I just don't know how to have a single part of his body move without the whole thing, like, being affected. So, if you guys know how I can just make his head move and insert an IPO curve doing that, I kind of tried, like, selecting this and then moving it and then inserting IPO curves and whatnot. But it failed before I made the tutorial. So that's why I just had him moving around. So, um, hi, Amena, if that's how you pronounce it. I hope this tutorial helped you out. And, um, hope you liked it. So anybody else who watches it, hope you guys liked it too. Um, make sure to rate the video, comment on them, comment on my channel, check out my channel, subscribe. I've got a bunch more tutorials coming. I'm definitely not stopping anytime soon. And I'll see you guys later.